Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon. Today I have a good guy door that holds itself open for you. So you press the button just like that, walk through, and it'll close. And it will not close until you've gone through. Just like a good guy. Now the concept for this came from Minecraft PG Fire's very recent video where they show the Roman design. And I've redesigned it and made it much smaller, more resource efficient and all of that. So I'll strip this back and show you the redstone. Now you may be very surprised and this is all of the redstone. Minecraft PG5 says was four high, four across and three deep I think. And this is just three high, two across and three long. Very simple, it has a rapid pulsing clock so it's um, really sensitive for when you press the button it'll fire really quickly. Press the button and this gets, and this goes down but doesn't update and when you step on this pressure plate it'll update itself and the door will close. Now the way this works is this clock is constantly updating this um, piston but nothing's happening at the moment but when I press this button it's going to bud power this piston which means it's going to extend because it's being updated by the clock and then it's going to unpower this which will stop this clock running and open the door because the clock stopped running this piston won't re-update when the button comes off because there's nothing to update it and the um, button is two blocks above so that happens and then when I step on the pressure plate it's going to update this line of redstone which updates the piston it's going to bring the cauldron back up and start the clock again and if you didn't know now in Minecraft 1.6 when a cauldron has water in it or you know, water in it it will give a comparator output so if I just get some, uh, some water, put that in there, and you can see it gives an output. And all I do is just loop that around like that with the comparator in subtract mode, and it creates a clock. Very simple. Now, I don't think we really need a tutorial for this. It's very simple. You just need to have your door here. Your button has to be two blocks above the piston. A sticky piston facing down with a cauldron on it, and the cauldron full of water. Then that needs a comparator coming out, and it has to be in subtract mode. If it's not, you'll see here, it doesn't start the clock. So that must be in subtract mode, which has the torch on. That goes into a block with a torch. If you have it with the dust, it will leave the um, spit the block down, and we don't want that. So make sure you have a torch there. And then we just have a line of redstone coming across like that. We just reset the piston, and there we go. And that will start clock going, and you need to have it going all the way across because it won't update the piston if it's only that long. So, that's a very simple little video for you there. I hope you enjoy it. I hope Minecraft PG5 sees this and they can see how to improve their design. And yeah, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like, it always helps my channel. Subscribe if you haven't done already and you enjoyed my videos. So, thank you for watching, and this has been TT Lemon.